Chainlink VRF is something that we've been working on for a while with some of our academic partners, some of the most talented people in the blockchain space to generate a source of randomness as a key input that is also verifiable. There are a number of applications that use randomness in very meaningful ways to be able to securely exist. So we're very excited to today be releasing the initial testnet version of our Chainlink VRF. You now have a source of on-chain verifiable randomness that is something that users can rely on and smart contract developers can rely on. Users can take part in the providing of a seed by helping generate it and even using multiple seeds. This essentially means that you have a source of randomness that's completely cryptographically proven to be unbiased. And as long as it's provided, it can be relied upon to properly settle transactions and generate digital goods and do everything that randomness needs to do on chain. The benefit of Chainlink VRF is that it's built to use the unique capabilities of blockchains to verify that proof and verify those signatures, which is something that as far as we can tell, no other randomness generator does. The point here is that even a single Chainlink node is enough to provide these guarantees and it can't be malicious. All it can really do is not provide an answer. To improve those availability guarantees, we then seek to create a system where we have more nodes and where we have multiple chain link nodes providing that randomness. And as that amount of chain link nodes grows, you have a greater and greater amount of randomness availability. Threshold signatures and our application of threshold signatures to create threshold VRF is something that will really help here. We know that it's applicable to VRF as well to basically scale up so that thousands of nodes are providing availability, even if only a portion of the nodes actually need to provide randomness or send some kind of randomness into the contract. In addition, we will use staking to help prove that there will be a loss for a node operator that doesn't generate the proper randomness. In addition to the fact that even a single node providing this proof is providing ungameable, unbiased randomness, they will also have very strong incentives to provide this randomness consistently. And the greater the fees that users pay for the randomness, it's likely that the greater the amount of stake that node operators put up to guarantee that their availability is something that would also increase. Basically, service agreements and the use of staking is also applied to Chainlink VRF to provide additional guarantees beyond the cryptographic guarantees and availability guarantees and now the crypto economic guarantees. This is available today. You can go on our documentation and use it on testnet today.